The following is a fan-based discussion. All materials discussed are property of Toei Inc., Bandai, Hasbro, Saban Entertainment, and Subaraya Productions. Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of In Comparison. In Comparison the is one you've been, all been waiting for. Hey, wow, episode 17. Engine Sentai Go Launcher versus Power Rangers RP and Getting Gear. Thank you for being there for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's go ahead and get started on this one. Ah. Oh. It's it's been a while. People have been looking forward to this one for quite some time. All yep. the, the surprise of the go on one. And how I want to I want to pose a question to the comments real quick. Which is the out of all the in comparisons we have done or will do in the future? Which is the one you were looking forward to the most? I feel like this was one of them. This and the Shin Kendra one, I know. Oh, and the uh, Super Mega, Mega Force. Mega Force. Basically, the next one. Yeah. Now we don't know uh, because by the time we end up getting to the Smokers, we might. Be at the end of the year, and these forms isn't going to be out by then. That's true. By the time we get to go busters, that is. We'll probably have to go well, back. We'll have to do it later. Yeah, we, we'll probably have to do that one later. Just, you know, to solve that one. Well, I will have, was, that means we still have to we'll go back and kind of watch Ninja Steel. Uh, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and start with Go On versus RPM. Uh, start where you do the opening. I'm not a fan of either. If I have to pick one, I'm going with RPM. I am too. It's hard, harder in the rock category. Mm-hmm. And the not making my as ears. As opposed bleed to harder, ca- as opposed to harder in the J-pop category. Yeah. And not as, and not harder in the makes my ears bleed category. Not yeah. as hard in the anime noise category. Yeah. yeah. Not as hard in the aging category. Mm-hmm. So yeah, on this one, we're never going to go ahead and give it to RPM. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's just, I give it to neither one. We're going to save the story for last. I know. Let's get to the reds. Sosuke and Scott. <laughs> Gee, I wonder which one we like more. I think it could go either way for this the one. The bad shonen main character that is all talk and does nothing, or the guy who has everything to prove and is an actual leader. There's a lot or of bad It's an actual stuff. character. That too. There is a lot of bad story with Scott. You know, There's a lot of backstory with everybody. Yeah, his brother dies in the first episode. Yeah. And his dad kind of gives him the look of it should have been you, and that's just like, oh shit, this is a kid's show. Yeah, this show got real. And I love that about it. It's just... I'm going to go rewatch RPM after this. Yeah, sure. <laughs> RPM is a great show. We've talked about this yeah, before. It's honestly one of my one favorite. One of the best Power seasons of Power Rangers. Rangers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, it's, it has so much going for it. And Scott is really... Although he's not the center of this show, which is saying something, because he's the red, but he's not the center of the show. No, Black is. He he just has so much. Scott isn't even the first character we see. Yeah, Sosuke has this issue of being a bad shonen. So that's basically his... I will also give props to RPM also being in the area of the Power Rangers already exist. We don't have to see when they are recruited. So we get that later. We get, we get it's and it's told later, which honestly I prefer that style. I don't I don't remember them doing that in Go Under. We never really got to see them become At this point do we care? The Go Unders. And you know uh Sosuke was a race car driver. That was his profession mm-hmm. before they, you know, just went to And he's a pilot. Yeah, he's a he's a pilot. Yet he gets a car. That, that like, flies. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Scott Definitely. Uh, Flynn and Ren. Gee, I wonder who Marcus is going to give this to. Is it the hot Scottish one? Look, don't judge me. Don't, don't go for me. I didn't mm. ask for you to come for me. <laughs> you never do. Ren, they, they, they at least adapted the part that he's a mechanic and yeah. he builds shit. Like, Ren is okay. But he, he's he, not offensive. He but personality-wise... I don't like him at all. But... Ren is the opposite of RPM Blue because RPM Blue, you know, talks and has a personality. Has a personality and aside, God, he, aside he's, from I like to cook and make anime. Noises. He's kind of fucking loud. Yeah, it's he's, a loud blue. He's Scottish, that's what he does. Yes. Not to mention, even when like somebody else is introduced to, is smarter than him, he kind of goes, well, "What the fuck is my point then?" He and has an identity crisis. He, he, they end up working together at the end of the day, which means he has an identity. Yeah. <laughs> Flynn is a great character. He's. Just, I would like to point out that he gets. Blue, because he drove the school bus <laughs> in the first episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he went out and saved people. Yeah. yeah, I know, but he gets. I'm saying he gets blue specifically because he drove a school bus. Oh yeah, and then bus on. So yeah, the bus. Yeah, fun, great character. Bryn, not offensive. Not but... afraid to call out people in their bullshit either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He'll be the first one to come after you, actually. 
Yeah. Rin's not a terrible He's also character. very funny. He is. Everybody in the show is funny. They have grit. They have good acting. They have good acting. <laughs> They're all good actors. In a Power Rangers show. Holy shit. And we, did, and we see two of them the most now. The rest of them are overseas. But we see, you know, Scott. That's Ethan Marvel. He's in Jessica Jones. Yep. Yeah. And he was in Spartacus. Rose MacGyver is Aizabi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Which unfortunately got canceled. It did? Yeah, the um the British guy was on um, Off Topic recently. Ro. Yeah, Ro was on Off Topic recently, and he talked about how it got canceled after the next season. No. Well, season, it's been on for, what, six seasons now? Five. Five six. I, six, I think, will be their final season. Which is, you no, know, that's, that's just still a pretty good run. Yeah. That's a good run for a show. We should see that. Glad to see that they have gone to bigger things than Power Rangers, which you don't see a lot from Power Ranger yeah. actors. Mm-hmm. So, you know, let's just go ahead and talk about Summer and Saki. Who? Exactly. They Saki even is gave the girly girl. They even gave Summer the bullshit arranged wedding episode and, turned, and made it decent. Yeah. Because then at the end, the end, the parents tell the other people off going, nah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Ranger Operator Series Yellow. You look absolutely ring today. Really? You think so? No, but that's what people just say, apparently. <laughs> I love Dr. Kay. Dr. Kay. Um, but Summer, I love this the rich girl. She was that rich girl. She was the rich boy brat who grew up real fast. Yeah, she yeah. had to. People were dying everywhere. So, so she was just like, you know, I had to come out here and actually go out I'm going to go rewatch people. RPM now. Got and it. she went out and saved Scott. That's like the first thing that she did mm-hmm. when everybody else left him for dead. And she comes in and tries to save him and does so. Yeah, so, Summer's a great character. I like her relationship with Dylan. Yeah, it didn't feel unnatural. It did not. You know, it felt pretty organic. So that is a definite plus in her character. I really like Summer, and you know, she didn't feel like the token girl. She didn't at all, and that says something about her. She's a powerful character, and that's great. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, well, this one easy. Ziggy and Hato. Who? Exactly. They're, Ziggy's hysterical. How they, can you not pick Ziggy? It's weird because they sort of have the same source yeah. for their characterization. But Ziggy does it better. Ziggy just does it so much better. He's hilarious. He's He has a lot of charisma. Mm-hmm. But he has an added bonus of he's that he's the weird guy who's always telling jokes, but they give him that characterization of he stole from the mob to give medicine to orphans. Mm-hmm. He's Robin Hood. Also in Green. Minus Robin Hood and his Merry Rangers. <laughs> yeah, Ziggy's just a great character. And I, I love his relationship with Dr. K. He really, he's the one who really gets her to come out of out her shell. Out of her shell, yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Which is funny, a- because she's literally wearing a lab coat, which is kind of an egg yeah. metaphor. Mm-hmm. Hanzo doesn't really have much. And that's bad. I'm seeing a theme so far. Yeah, it's just like Hanzo is sort of a too big... Like, he goes out of his way to try to help people, you know, when... Gilbe had this whole thing where he was at the bottom of the hero list. Yeah. The Hanzo went out and tried to help him, but it's just like, that was really the only thing I really remember about him. It's, and it's especially funny because we first see Ziggy trying to fucking, like, rob Dylan. He's yeah. trying to literally mug him with a muffler. But his actor just plays it. Mm-hmm. Like, that was his thing. I loved watching Ziggy on screen. With Hanzo, I'm just like, get away from this. <laughs> Not uh, for the buffest and tallest of the group. Dylan and... Dylan. Literally, in both cases, actually. Dylan and Gunbei. Mm-hmm. Dylan. He's the main character. He gets the most characterization. He is the main character, and that's great. I love the fact that we got another the character. I, I like loved him color. the moment they were interrogating him in prison, or uh, Summer was asking him, will you join the Rangers? And he goes, I just have one question. Zoom out, chained up, seven guns pointed at him. Do I get to pick my color? <laughs> uh, yeah, Dylan... That is he, not spandex! He is the bad boy. With a heart of gold. Yeah. But literally a heart of gold. I think it's actually made of gold. Mm-hmm. Um, ha ha, because he's a robot. He's a cyborg. Then he is, you know, a great character. Android! We're having the whole thing with Tanaya. Mm-hmm. And, you know, him trying to really find where he came from and him, his memories Memory. being falsely implanted. Mm-hmm. Having to beat that one monster who actually had them. A yeah. fucking story where amnesia works yeah. is always good. It, because the way that this story is just set up, it's awful. So and it's just uh, like I RPM. Mean, the fact that the situation is awful. yeah. RPM is one of the same reasons why I like Q Ranger so much. It's not about saving. It's not about protecting the world from evil. The world's fucked. Yeah, it's just it's, trying to get it back. Yeah, when the, the when the Rangers are the resistance or the underdogs, it's I feel like that's you. 
are you're rooting for the underdog feels so much better than rooting for the go-to, the token good guy. Yeah. Uh, next, we have Jim and Hiroto. Ooh, this one's actually a little harder. The wings uh, are going to be harder. Yeah. Because the wing in RPM, the wings were really one character. Mm-hmm. The twins. Yeah. yeah. Not really two characters, so it's really the hard. Minds of the minds of children. Because they never the get separated. Huh? It is becoming a little bit better. It's, yeah. it's with Jim, at least. Yeah, and, and Jim. Well, the they're the minds of children because they never really had a chance to mature or grow up. Exactly. And as much as I like uh, the you know the blow shit first up, ask questions never attitude, because that's how I fucking work in games. Just it's like we need a we need a flame around here, or I blow it up. <laughs> and you know, I like Jim and Jim. I think Jim and Jim are nice. I the whole finishing nice. each other's sentences bullshit was annoying. It was very irritating. Them, like Jim has a whole thing with Scott where he ends up getting a medal from Scott's dad, and there's you know he ends up showing it to Scott a lot, and Scott gets mad at him, and Jim like really ends up having to understand later on. It's like, look, this is like I understand the fact that your dad you felt like he really never paid attention to you or something along those lines. The fact that a sentence like that is uttered in a Power Ranger show is hysterical yeah. because. And Jim ends up having to calm down, just like he was bragging a lot, and you know he understood just like what I'm doing is wrong. And so, sure, it's sort of after school specialty, yeah. But the way that they ended up presenting it with this character was a lot better. Was a lot better. I, I love that a mm-hmm. lot. Like Hiroto, Hiroto is a good character, and the fact that he's different from everybody else in that show, very serious. He, and that's oddly enough, that's. The role they take in both of the shows. Jim and Jim are very different from. They're more like the Go Launchers. Yeah. And the Wings are more like the RPM Rangers, the main RPM Rangers. Mm-hmm. It's refreshing to actually see something like that. They, they end up bringing that over from each show and just flip it. So, who will we give it to in terms of who did it better? Ah, uh, that's such a good question. It is a tie. I'm going to give it this one a tie. Yeah. Hero Tell's a great character. He ends up having so much to do in his own show. He makes some of the stuff, he built the Go Rotor. Uh, I'm sorry, the, I think it's the, the wheel. And, you know, he was always the first one to go out and, like, really sacrifice himself. He's really strong. And that shows in this show. I love watching Hiroto in Go Hunter. So, and I like watching Jim and his growth in RPM. Their growths are very similar, similar in the fact that they really have to either become more serious or let go of them. And I think that really works here. Now it's time for Gemma and Mia. Another hard one. Yeah. Like I said, the, the ones with the wings are very hard. Especially because Jim and Jim's growth, although they're technically taking separate paths, end up having the same destination. Yeah. And that's sort of the same thing for Mio and Hiroto. Mm-hmm. They really have to calm down, like, you know, make sure to not always be so serious. Yeah, and it was nice to see Jim kind of bond with Blue yeah. as they were the, both the builders and the tinkerers yeah. and stuff. It's just great. And I love Jenna's characterization. Um, I like Miu's characterization. She was one who really tried to help the Go Wanderers, even though it was on for her own selfish needs, more or less, at the beginning. And yeah. Definitely coming from the wrong place. But she what had a show. And she really tried to just go out there and make it work. And Jenna, you know, had that whole same thing. And that moment where she and Jim and the disappearing mm-hmm. at the end of RPM and then coming back and forth. It's great. I, the Wings and Gold and Silver from RPM are pretty similar in the, their group. And I think that's what makes them both good characters. So this one's also a tie for me. Fair. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to give Jacob. it a tie. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh-huh. Here's the fun one. Uh, Dr. K and Bomber. Is, there, is this really a comparison? They're the only characters. Dr. K... Hmm. Stole, kidnapped at birth to be a part of some well, secret, sort of secret think tank. Enrolled. The secret government think tank never even saw the sun, was told she was allergic to it her whole life, and plays the violin when she's sad. Versus Robot Furby, who I would rather just melt down and use as brass knuckles. And Dr. K to then punch the go on just with. Yep. It's just such... She's the reason Again, I actually... Dr. K is a character. Is a character. She's Bomber the, is a caricature. She's the actual reason I watched Dr. K. Not for the Rangers. I watched her for Dr. K. Really? Yeah. She was... She kind of had... Here's the thing. RPM is a character-driven show, 
And she is the lead one who I, who got the most development, the most. Like this story. whole thing happened because she wanted to because of her, and it's just like that whole episode just kind of made you hurt. Yeah, it really did, and, and not and not like a oh god, it's so bad way, and a, oh my god, I feel so sorry for her. Because you get it. That's the main. She created the villain because they just wouldn't let her go outside. So she got that in there to you know break down their security system. She was going to put the firewall on, and, and then that didn't work. Because they dragged her away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She ended the world because gov- because bad government wouldn't let her just go outside. Yeah. Seriously. And Bomber exists. And then we have Bomber. And then we have Bomber, who just is a thing. Dr. K is an amazing character. Dr. K is one of the best characters like, Power Rangers has ever given us. She's mm-hmm. the re- Like I said, she's the reason I watched that show. Seriously. Yeah. It's, her story is just so compelling to watch, and I love that. Uh, we could talk about the villains, but who cares? But well, we don't want to. Although I think uh, what is it? Kagalasia is like the opposite of Tanaya yeah. in some cases, but Tanaya is just a better character overall yeah. because she has that whole backstory with the brother. Yeah, and being brainwashed. But everything twice. else is kind of just similar. We Although must, she's very astronomer. I'll give her. I'll give because I'll give RPM this kind of negative thing. It, it, the the villains in comparison to the heroes are kind of weak in terms of character development because all the character development they to make heroes. Yeah, Those yeah they, they need to be. They already own the world. True. Who runs the world? Vengeance. <laughs> Thanks, Beyonce. Uh, Who run the world? <laughs> Robots. <laughs> In terms of story, uh, okay, so we're fighting pollution, but they're not really good at it. <laughs> so <laughs> we end up getting compared to this is the last human city on Earth. Yeah. We must defend it. Hmm. Who has higher stakes? <laughs> the people who are about to die, and not from pollution. Although that was a plan when they poisoned the water supply to get that fixed. Yeah. That- Thank goodness. It just worked so much better in Arpia. Mm. Everything worked better in Arpia. Who run the world? Not them. RPM is a great show. I RPM is a great show because it knows that it's adapting something so not serious. <laughs> Fuck! <It's just> <laughs> <laughs> to, to those of you who do not know the backstory, who have not watched History of Power Rangers for RPM, the guy who pitched Power Rangers RPM as the last Power Rangers season pitched a very serious, very down-to-earth, dark show before seeing RPM, or before seeing Go Anja, and then went, fuck. <laughs> but he pulled it off. Yeah. Although, you know, it wasn't him the entire time. No. Came in the end. Yeah, but, but it's, it still worked. It still got pulled off. Yeah. And I applaud that. RPM is a character-driven, plot-driven show Well, Go Anja... And it makes fun. It makes fun of the thing that they adapted from Go Wander. There's an entire scene dedicated to pointing out the weirdness of the mechs that does not fit the rest of the tone of the of the show they're portraying. Why do we all? Why do we have eyes? Let's break the fourth wall. Why do we have to shout RPM getting gear every time we do it? Why is there a six foot fireball behind me? And then they take that and then they go use it. What is this? Oh yeah, the fucking, <laughs> the fucking RV says Go Wander on it. So they just and literally brought that one over. So, and then they made an acronym. I still love the moment where they <laughs> he literally morphs with the villain's back to him so he can use the fireball as a weapon. Mm-hmm. Or just Ziggy morphing and he goes, right there! It's right there! That explosion! That yeah. explosion! I mean, it was a great show. I'm gonna go rewatch it. The might not be the worst of the same time. Is Power Rangers still on Netflix? Yes, it is. I'm gonna go rewatch RPM. In comparison to RPM, it just doesn't hold a candle. Nope. Nope. No. This candle was blown out. In our Their opinion. engine ran out of gas. In our opinion. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, join us next time on in comparison. <laughs> Shin Kenger versus Power Rangers Samurai. And so Super we're Samurai. Power Rangers Super Samurai. So we're just going to copy and paste ourselves for that episode. <laughs> yeah. It'd be great. We'll be wearing the same Can outfits. I just have a cardboard cutout take my place? It'll act better than anything. Yeah. Samurai. <laughs> I'll hold it like this and do it really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Still better than Samurai Red. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. That'll be episode 18, everybody. Tell us what you think about those shows in the comments below. Join and always show. subscribe, join our Patreon if you can. Go Facebook, follow, Twitter. follow follow Nerd and Nile and Nerd and Nile's Twitch, Nerd and Nile226. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.